What's up, everybody? This is like the tech preacher. So audio is very important. And sometimes content creators uh, start their videos. And uh, once they finish their videos, they put it in a, their video editing software. And sometimes they found that the audio did not capture correctly. Sometimes you have hiss in the background. Sometimes you have noise in the background. So our ultimate problem start existing of how to fix audio. So a good buddy of mine, LaShawn, from the YouTube channel, Holla at Your Bar, I will leave the link down in the description below. He recorded his entire video and he had a massive hum in the audio. So he reached out to me and asked me, could I fix it for him? And I love challenges. Audio is very important. And I told him, sure. So he sent me the file. And in this video, I'm gonna walk through step by step on how I fix his audio file in Adobe Edition. So let's have us some fun. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So holla at your boy, that's his YouTube channel. He's a great YouTube content creator. He hit me with a challenge to fix his audio file. Uh, and he was like, man, can you help me? I'm like, yes, no problem. Good buddy of mine. So let's listen to his video. Yo, what is good, YouTube? Ooh. Holla at your boy here. Now for today's video, it's gonna be something a little different. Now I recently upgraded it. All right, so what you just heard was a high pitch hum in his audio. Now he recorded the whole video. Right, he did everything, and then when once he put it in his uh, his video editing software, he discovered that that hum existed in his audio. And I mean, you got two things you could do, right? You can uh, try to fix it, or you can just recall record the whole audio file again. And you know what? Once you have that first vibe, it's very difficult to do a second take on that. So we just heard that file. I put it in Adobe Edition. And let's fix it. As I'm looking at the spectrum right here, and most audio people that will look at this video, you can immediately see the problem. Right at around 10K here, right? Right at around 10K, you notice you have this long, constant line. And when you play it, Yo, what is good you hear YouTube? it. Holla at your boy here. It's now, for today, horrible video, sound. Something. And uh, it's like screeching across the a chalkboard. It is a, it is horrible. I'm listening to it in my headphones and it's so, it's kind of unbearable. And most content creators will hear this sound and they they will figure that this audio is destroyed. But it but the good thing about it is the, the tech preachers here to help. So the first thing that I do is I try to look for a, a, a spot where he was silent. And I try to look for that m multiple times in this video. So right here at the end, he has a little spot right here where he finished the recording. And uh, so he got that right there. So what I want to do right here is I want to get try to capture that part right there. You see where that hum is right there? You see that. So the first thing I try to do is I say, you know, I'm going to go to noise reduction and rest restoration. And I'm going to go to do a uh, noise reduction. This going to help out the entire video, by the way, the entire audio file. But let's see if I can get rid of some of that hum just by doing the noise print. So let's go to and capture noise print. And as you can see, this audio right here is destroyed. You can tell, oh my God, it's just destroyed. So let's select entire file and let's apply. Now it took away some of the hum, but it also fixed some of the other things in this video, in this audio. So the next step is what I want to do is I want to select the entire audio file and I want to go to effects and I want to go back to noise uh, restoration and I want to go to what's called the Hummer. And I already know that the problem is about nine between nine K and 10 K. I already see the problem. So I will adjust my uh, the Hummer to combat that frequency. So let's hear it. Yo, what is good? You YouTube, hear it? Holla at you. And let's go hum only. And let's listen. As you can hear, 
When I output hum only at about 10K, 9K to 10K, you hear that the hum is there, as you can hear. Okay? Now, what I want to do is since I selected the entire file, let's fix it because we identified where the hum was and let's go and apply. Okay. So as I applied, you see that it got rid of some of the hum. And so we still got a little hum in there, though, because if you see here, it still got that hum in there. But let's do some more work here. Let's see if we can fix some more of this stuff. And let's do another noise print. Let me see if I can find a, a spot where he was a little silent, right? And look like I got a little solid. Let's see right here. Okay. Let me do another noise print right here. Let's go here. Let me go here. Okay. Because as you can see, it did not fix it all. But let's go on and see if I could do another noise print here. Right there, up about where the solid part is. Go back to my uh, restoration. Let's do a noise print here, okay? And it's like it's getting better. We're going to select entire file, and let's see if we can get rid of some more of it, okay? Got rid of some more of it. Let's go back to the Hummer, okay? And uh, let's go back to the Hummer. And uh, let's go on and apply again. After I did the noise print a second time, I added a D Hummer again a second time and look like it's all gone. Now, let's play it and look like we got all the noise, as you can see right there, all the noise in the 10K is completely gone. Let's play it and let's hear it. 16 mil that I had that'll give me that bokeh. We did some research and we came across the RF24. Now, but let's add some equalization and let's add some compression. Let's go down to add some presence to the voice because by us doing all this to the audio file, it took away some of that off in the audio file. So let's go to add some stuff here. So what I do is I go to uh, amplitude and compression, go to uh, go here. Let's go to add a noise gate. I always like to add noise gates to uh, pretty much all my videos and content, but it's not a hard noise gate. It's a light noise gate. So I'm going to apply noise gate here. That's also going to help with the hum, right? Which the hum is gone, but we go add that. And next, what we want to do and let's go on to add a little more compression to it, right? We're going to add a little compression, multi-band compressor, right? I have, have a, I have a preset that works great on most voices. Uh, and this multi-band compressor, uh, we're going to listen to it with Yo, the compressor on good, it. Yo, what is good, YouTube? Holla at your boy here. Now, for today's video, we're going to be something turn it a off. little different. Now, I recently upgraded a big part of now, my studio. Now, what, what this compressor is doing is I ha it's giving a light compression to it because the audio file that was sent looked like it was compressed. So it, it has a nice compression already on it. But since I did all this noise reduction and stuff like that, we lost a little of that compression. So I'm going to add a little more compression to it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that just to add some compression to it, to get a little oomph to it. But since I've messed around with the 10K uh, in an eight between the eight and 10 K, uh, it kind of took away some of the high end. So we want to add some of that in. So I'm going to go to equalizer. I'm going to go to a 10 band equalizer. Cause I don't need nothing else that I want to do to this here. And between the four and the eight, I bought it up a little bit, right? The, I bought the eight K up a little bit. And I bought the 4k up a little bit. Then now let's listen to this. Most people would say this is probably the biggest part of the studio. So for today's video, all right, you I'm hear it, you guys. So you hear it when I turn it off. It, it's a little flatter, but I add that presence in there. My thoughts on the Canon R. Nah, sounds good. So without any further, no ado, hum. Let's go. And you can hear the noise gig is kicking in when he went silent. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this 10k equalizer. 
10 band equalizer on there, but I, I'm only messing with 8K and 4K. I'm leaving everything else flat. Leaving everything else flat. I don't want to mess with nothing else. All right, so let's go to normalize it. All right, and uh, so it's compressed. All the, all the noise is gone. And let's go to normalize it. And I'm going to go to put normalization. I'm minus 6 dBs on that, right? Normalize it. Boom. Audio is great, right? So I'm looking at it. I want to make sure it's compressed. I want to make sure it sounds good. I want to make sure everything is good. And at this point, I'll just go to file and I will save it and I will just give it a name. Okay. So let's listen to the before and let's listen to the after. So here is the before and here is the fix. So I'm going to open that up right there. So I have two files right here. So we go listen to the before. Yo, what is good YouTube? Holla at your boy here. Now for today's video, it's going to be something a little different. Now I recently upgraded. All right. So that was the uh, file that he sent me. And this is the fix. Yo, what is good YouTube? Holla at your boy here. Now for today's video, it's going to be something a little different. Now I recently upgraded a big. All right. That hum at about nine to 10 K destroyed this audio. And with a little magic of Adobe Edition and a little skill, I fixed it for him. And uh, I want y'all guys to see a small footage of his video. So check this out. Yo, what is good YouTube? Holla at your boy here. Now for today's video, it's gonna be something a little different. Now I recently upgraded a big part of my studio and most people would say this is probably the biggest part of the studio. And there you have it. I will leave his video link down in the description below so you can check out the full video on his YouTube channel. And while you're over there, go ahead on and subscribe to his channel and uh, say your boy sent them to you. The tech preacher, baby. All right. So if you have any questions about your audio uh, of anything else in between, go ahead on and hit me up in the comments. Uh, go ahead on and email me. This is Eric the Tech Preacher. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about audio, baby. In all his glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.